and we are in Children's Dental Health Month. So we do have some important stuff to discuss with Dr. Jared Evans. You are with the um, Kids Dental in Liberty Lake, mm -hmm. and who else do you represent? I'm here representing the Mighty Mouth uh, campaign. So. And here to promote Children's Dental Health Month as well. And it, you know, I have a four-year-old and it is tough to get him to to brush. What what advice do you have for parents with kids that uh, do, do kind of fight it? Well, it, it, it starts with being the parent and being a good example, because usually they want to I promise be like I you. am. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is important to brush in the morning after they eat breakfast and at night before they go to bed and, and trying to floss once a day. I prefer at night, but those mm -hmm. are the at least the bare minimum times to do it. So you try to make it fun. You know your child's temperament and personality. Keep it positive and, and always go to the dentist. The pediatric dentist can always give you pointers and show you and demonstrate. Mm -hmm. That's one of the important things mm -hmm. of having oral health checkups with your children. And what should parents know as far as their children's oral health is concerned? Well, you, you can't be healthy without healthy teeth. And there are so many lost hours of schooling and sleepless nights and pain that children don't have to go to because dental decay and dental caries is preventable. Mm -hmm. and we have preventing tooth decay up on the screen uh, right now. Absolutely. It's an infection that we can prevent. Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing is, is being cautious about how the children share because it's getting certain strains of bacteria introduced into the mouth. Sure. It's next having good hygiene to remove the food that's on the teeth and mm -hmm. keeping that bacteria level low. It's the snacking in the diet. It's not the amount of sugar that can be bad on the teeth. It's really how long that sugar is on the teeth because that's proportional to the amount of time acidity can be generated mm -hmm. in the mouth. And if your mouth's in an acidic environment, your teeth fall apart. It loses minerals. And then fluoride is a mineral that we can usually, generally use to try to remineralize mm -hmm. those teeth. So it's striking that balance and preventing those problems. All right, Dr. Jared Evans, thank you so much. I know that I was taking some notes as a, <laughs> Good. a, a mother of a, a very wild child that's hard to rein in when it comes to brushing. Well, <laughs> stick with the brushing and certainly healthy snacks. Okay. Limit those starches and sugars. Got it. Noted.